Hello everyone, it's uh, Greg Harrelson here, and I just wanted to uh, you know, give you a little bit of information on how to start a real estate career even though you have no real estate experience. So I'm an owner of Century 21 offices all throughout South Carolina and North Carolina, and we specialize in helping new real estate agents get into the business and help jumpstart their career. So I just wanna give you kind of like a laundry list of items that you need to understand you'll have to engage in or you'll have to kind of check off your list in order to number one, become a licensed real estate agent, and then number two, some things that I can uh, share with you to help you jumpstart your career. Um, the first thing you want to do is, uh, depending on what state you are, assuming you're in South Carolina or North Carolina, you want to make sure you identify what the state requirements are for obtaining a license. Uh, every state may vary in terms of how much schooling you must go through. Um, so it could end up uh, being anywhere from, you know, uh, 60 hours to 90 hours of schooling. Um, and, 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 the, and the courses itself could, uh, you know, there could be a variation. Surely the content is going to be, is going to vary state from state because of different laws. So number one, go ahead and check out your, your state requirements. The second thing is, you know, go ahead and decide, are you going to take a licensing course in person, um, which is highly recommended? Are you going to do it virtual, which means just online? and self-paced, get it done whenever you have time to get it done, or are you going to kind of do a hybrid between virtual and in-person, which is kind of like webinar style, where it's in, it's a live webinar, it's a scheduled time, you have to show up and attend live, but you can show up virtually. So there's, there's three different options, virtual, you can do it through webinar, live webinar, like you're attending the class, but you're attending it virtually, or you can actually physically attend the class. So you want to kind of check with your licensing schools to see what they offer, see what the schedule looks like, and see what fits, of course, for your schedule. The next thing you want to do is you want to, um, you know, you want to get through the class, pass the class, and then you're going to have to sit for the state exam. So you have to understand you have to take a class um, in a licensing school, You'll be required to pass a, a test within that class, and then once you pass that test, that qualifies you to sit for the state exam, which you will likely do through the Real Estate Commission, and you take that test, you pass, then you're officially licensed. Now, when I say officially licensed, um, you can activate a license, but you're going to have to join a brokerage okay, in order to hang your license somewhere. So just about every state requires you to work under a brokerage. It might be every state, but I'll say just uh, uh, just about every state, just in case there's a state that I'm not aware of um, that allows you to do it otherwise. But in most cases, you have to work under a brokerage. So in that case, you would, you would, you would come to somebody like us, you would um, talk about talk to us about what we offer. We offer leads. We offer a lot of done for you systems. So really, all you have to do is kind of go through our training. We'll give you leads. We show you how to convert those leads. Uh, we we show you how to you know kind of research and um, and either list seller leads or help buyer leads write contracts uh, on, on properties and then get those 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 properties closed. Get those sales closed so you can get paid. You, that's what you're actually joining a brokerage for is to make sure that you have somebody to kind of mentor you, guide you, and help build your, your career with you. Um, and let's just assume right now that you've joined a brokerage, okay? What I would be looking for in a brokerage is do they give you leads? What kind of support do they have? What kind of coaching do they, they give you? And one test or one thing that you can ask every brokerage is ask them, do you hire is it normal for you to hire a new real estate agent and coach somebody from scratch? Not all brokerages take on new agents, or at least most new brokerages don't want new agents. They'll take you in hopes that maybe you luck out and you're successful and they can say, make some money, but most, of do, most brokerages do not have coaching programs for new agents. So you're you're, you're definitely looking for somebody who specializes in new agents. Now, once you get with that brokerage, I highly suggest you start learning the market. The best way to learn the market is go look at the, the vacant listings that are for sale in your MLS. So if there's some homes um, that are vacant and on a lockbox, then go look, set an appointment. So you learn how to set an appointment. Go over there and preview that property and do that for homes, for condos. Go look at a, piece, a few pieces of land. Go look at some multifamily properties. 
look at all the different types of properties that you might be selling so you can get familiar with that. And I suggest in the first couple of weeks, you look at maybe 10 to 20 properties. You want to get familiar with communities, with condo buildings, with the market in general. That's one thing you can do to really, really pick up the pace to get uh, to make a commission check early on. <clears throat> the next thing I mentioned leads. Again, not all companies going to give leads, especially to inexperienced agents. What we do is we go ahead and put you through an online buyer lead certification course. So we get you certified and coach you so you're ready to accept online be, uh, leads. And we know as a company that you'll be able to convert them because you're well trained. So you need to make sure that you opt in to any lead programs that your brokerage will have. In our case, our lead program is simple. We just have a certification course. You pass that, that, that course it's free and all of a sudden you're going to start getting leads and that's the quickest way to jump start your real estate state career another th thing that i wrote down is you know ask another successful agent in the office if they have any listings that you can do an open house on sellers all the time want their houses to be held open they want open houses on the weekend and a lot of busy agents don't have time to do those open houses. So they'll allow newer agents to sit on those open houses and in return for you helping them do an open house, which makes their seller happy, you get all the leads off of that open house. And believe it or not, there will be a time where you'll hold an open house and the person will walk in and buy that house. Not a lot of times will that happen, but there will be a time if you do this enough. What usually happens is you get leads that walk in, they don't want that house, but now you know they want something in that particular area. You build rapport, you set an appointment to start showing them other properties. So the key is, as a new agent getting into the business, you wanna figure out how to get business fast. So these techniques are just a few ways to do this. Now to sharpen your skills, you wanna mentor, you, you, you want to shadow a, an experienced agent on a listing presentation. Go on a listing presentation with them. There's plenty of top agents that allow you to, you know, to accompany them because they want to give back. Somebody probably did that uh, for them early on in their career, so they're going to give back to you. Find a, a top agent. We can help you with that. Find a top agent that will allow you to shadow them. And last uh, but not least, when it comes to um, honing in on your skills and, and, and developing uh, a, a pretty good knowledge of the business, what you want to do is you want to look at some of the listings that you're going to go preview and do your own price analysis. Like go look at it and then go back to the MLS and make sure your brokerage is showing you how to uh, how to research pricing on, on properties and go through the process of researching property and see what price that you believe something should sell for and, and compare it to what another agent had listed it for. So these are just great little techniques that you can do, that you can execute on that's going to help you start your career the right way and jumpstart it quickly. You know, we know as a, as, as a company, our goal is to help all new agents get a paycheck within their first 90 days. Hey, if you're looking to get into real estate um, in, in, you know, anywhere in the country, but especially North Carolina or South Carolina, please reach out to me. I'm Greg Harrelson. I've got companies, again, in Charleston, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, Columbia, South Carolina, Greenville, Spartanburg, South Carolina, Bowling Springs, South Carolina, Conway, South Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina. We are pretty spread out. We're a big outfit with a very strong national brand. We provide leads. We provide coaching. But most important, we provide the support and the knowledge that a new agent is going to need in order to build a real estate career. So reach out to me. I look forward to talking to you someday in the future. I hope this information was helpful.